Today I'm working on the intercooler for the Quad Turbo T and I thought I'd use this opportunity to show this uh, real simple press brake attachment I made for my press. Uh, I just have a cheap 20 ton press I bought from Harbor Freight for $120 and uh, this is just a piece of angle with, welded to a tube and a set screw to hold it on here. I have a piece of channel that I'm pressing into and this lets me get to almost 90 degrees. If I needed to get past 90 or straight to 90, I really would need a sharp edge pressing into a tighter um, U shape. But this gets me close enough. What I'm working with today, I've got a bunch of uh, scrap aluminum. It's all anodized, everything I have. So where I'm going to be welding it, I have to grind off the anodizing. Otherwise, it makes a mess when you try to take it. So uh, let's get this here uh, set up and do some metal. You see, we're not quite to 90, so we're going to press it in the press to get it there. So now to make this bend here, you would need like a box and pan brake or a press brake with a smaller die to press down. I don't have either. I haven't made anything for this yet. So I'm just going to bend this by hand, clamp it in this to hold it. I'm just going to take a pair of crescent wrenches. Put it up into shape. A little tweaking with the hammer and I'll be good to go. Just go from corner to corner, scribe it near the center, do it again. That's where I need to put my hole. So this is how I'm planning on doing this. I've got two intercooler cores made up of four cores each and each one has a tank on either side. This one doesn't have tanks on it yet. And they're going to go like this. Cold water is going to come in the top, flow through, drop down to the bottom, and come out back out this side here. And I'll have two of the turbos come in this side, two come in the other side, and then I'm going to have two discharge tubes coming out. Probably going to have to get a different water neck, and I'll have one come up through here and one through here and they're going to come through an aluminum base plate for my enclosure and the plan is for the sides and top to be plexiglass. We'll see how that goes. I have the cores welded up and I'm flowing water through them right now just the last check. I uh, bubble tested them with air last night and tried to hit all the little leaks but since I don't want to pump water into the intake of my engine let this run for a bit and see how much water is coming out of it. The pump is leaking quite a bit, but the intercooler is going to be pretty tight. So this is what I have so far tacked together. So that goes there. 
and I have these fillers that go in from the back side to fill these gaps here. And then I've got plates. Fill these gaps, it's the wrong one. And then the intercoolers, of course, sit on top of that. So the air will come in the sides here and come out the top. Got the cores in here, and uh, I got got it pretty well lined up. I'm gonna tack this side in place, and then I'm gonna tweak the other side.
So I have the intercooler all tacked together and mocked up in the car. It's a little tight on the belt for my lower turbo scavenge pump. I think I'm just going to move the pump down. Next thing to do is take it back out and finish welding it. And then I need to figure out how I'm going to get air from here into my throttle body. Uh, and I don't want to use a carb hat, so this is going to take me a while to get that done. Anyway, that's enough for today. Thanks for watching.